Yo, what's going on guys? Dustin Hansen here. So, I haven't really been making too many videos lately. Um, I've been working on a lot of stuff. So I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got a Mazda 3 from the junkyard and I also got a Miata from the junkyard. I fixed them up and I flipped them for this, essentially. Um, I got a 1994 Toyota Chaser factory manual. Um, I got a super good deal on it actually ended up trading them one of the Miatas um, plus some cash for it so you'd see there that that's really the only bad part they did some speed holes because I guess there used to be a oil cooler behind it but um, it's obviously not the factory paint it has been resprayed you can see someone rolled the fenders here and didn't paint that so I'm starting to rust there but so we need to take care of that but today we're gonna go over this thing and start making it look a little bit better. You can see here, obviously someone else's stickers. I'm gonna take those off and not rock those. Um, it used to have rain guards on it, so there's a bunch of this double-sided adhesive tape I'm about to yank all this off and clean it. And then I'll probably clean the interior a little bit. Um, you can see the interior is not perfect. Uh, the fabric was ripped off here and the A pillars. And then it does not have a matching seat due to the previous owner let someone borrow his one of his old Recaro seats and they swapped it with their stock seat and they never gave it back to him, kind of screwed him. So uh, no big deal, we'll end up putting different um, seats in anyways, but I am gonna go ahead and throw on my old uh, CTS-T wheels. So we'll see if they fit their 19, so it might be a little bit big, but they might rub a little bit, but it'll definitely make this thing look a lot better. So we go ahead and do that. Jack this thing up, we'll throw the wheels on. Um, it also has a issue where something's draining the battery. I'm pretty sure that the boost controller or something is hooked up to straight 12 volts. So to disconnect the battery every time I'm done driving it. Uh, it's straight piped with the shotgun pipe, so super loud um too loud for germany but so we're gonna go ahead and basically start ripping this thing apart and getting it ready to daily drive i'm gonna go ahead and take all the stickers off like i said clean up all that tape maybe give it a wash so it's been raining and crappy sun if you can call that the sun it's kind of coming out now so it stopped raining we're about to go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit get it ready to daily drive So all the stickers are off. Next, I'm about to work on this headlight. You can see that someone sprayed. I already started scuffing it a little bit. But someone spray tinted it, which is illegal in Germany. They'll literally probably call the damn SWAT team if they see them that. So, gotta fix that. That's what I was talking about. Pretty sure one of these two wires. This looks, I was looking earlier. This goes to the boost gauge. So, I'm willing to bet that one of these two tapped off the battery. Reason why it's draining, so. Like I said, we'll have to figure out where those two wires go. And then that's the only thing tapped off the battery, so we'll figure that out, and hopefully that's a simple fix. But we're gonna sand off all this, scuff it, and then put wheels on. Um, eventually, I have a coil rad for this already from my previous one, so we'll toss that in. I need to go ahead and sand all the surface rust off. I wanna take these fenders off and look underneath, make sure there's no crazy rust, and then we'll repaint this front clip. So. Bunch of minor stuff, definitely needs work. It was a previous drift car, I'm pretty sure. That's what the previous owner said, so. Um, right now it has some stock R32 GTR wheels from a Nissan Skyline, so we'll replace those with these. Like I said, hopefully it doesn't rub, and then we will clean the exterior. Um, I need to figure out these lights because they are 
taped on there, so pretty ghetto. But yeah, it's just a lot of minor stuff, really. It runs and drives uh, fairly well. I need to work on the idle a little bit. When you initially start it, sometimes it'll die. But motor looks like it's been fairly well taken care of, so I'll have to put a um, coolant temp sensor in there. Like I said, they're like oil red and we'll be all good. So lots of minor stuff. I want to get some paint matched paint so I could paint that and at least make it look decent. But um, also I need to go ahead and these fenders are not bolted down. So I need to bolt those fenders down along with the side skirts. Yeah, lots of minor stuff. But for now, we're going to go ahead and sand down this headlight. That way I could at least drive this thing at night, even though the exhaust is loud. I was thinking about maybe finding some silencers, but I don't know. These are probably like, I don't know, two inch exhaust tips. So that would be a tiny, tiny silencer. I might chop that rear um, shotgun off, the shotgun pipes and weld on an actual uh, exhaust. So we'll see. I really don't want to chop this exhaust up. I'd rather find one that's for sale and buy that. That way I can throw this on if I ever want to again, not ruin it, but we'll see. So I'm about to go ahead and scuff this headlight and then get everything else going. So right off the bat, I took out the headlights. Like I said, I'm taking these fenders, bumper, all this stuff off. And people always ask why I do this. This right here is why. This blinker and side light were sitting in there like this, right? Not even connected. And then I ended up finding the wire tucked way back right here. So luckily, I just get to unplug this clip and then plug this one in. I don't know why someone cut those. It's probably taking off another car would be my guess. But yeah, that is one of the reasons why I do that. Just to look at everything. You can see some rust on there that needs to be taken care of. Yeah, so I'm going to continue moving along and figuring out all the ghetto things about this car and cleaning it up a little bit. Well, guys, the wheels are on and it definitely looks a lot better. The fitment on the rear is pretty good front is gonna need to come down a little bit but we're gonna take it around and see if it scrapes at all but let me see for now we are went ahead and I plastic welded all of these tabs because they all were broken on the window or the headlights these are the ones that had the black so I scuffed them all down I need to clean them up but so those are at least good for now and then um, I, like I said, I plastic weld these and then I just use super glue. I don't have any epoxy. Usually I put epoxy over it, but the plastic weld was holding by itself. So I just threw some super glue over it and now they're nice and sturdy. So um, now we can put these on because previously they were electrical taped all together because those tabs are broke. So we're gonna toss those on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start looking into this wiring a little bit. And I want to also clean out the interior. I think I'm gonna take the seats out and vacuum it. Um, I need to clean this dash up. You can see all this junk. It's pretty pretty disgusting. So yeah, I'll do that. And then I need to look and do ordering fabric. I think we're gonna go ahead and re-upholster um, the A-pillars, center console, and the headliner starting to sag in some spots. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and that one's both of those back there don't have the uh, upholster on it. So we're gonna go ahead and probably redo all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna take this Kirk release off because it is way too long. And um, yeah, it's, I can get it off, there we go. Um, this is putting the steering wheel literally like in my chest. So I'm about to go ahead and take this thing off and then was running off the boss hub. That way it's a little closer and not 
so far away from the um, turn signals because it's pretty annoying having to reach way up there. Like that's a good distance <laughs> away. So I also need to figure out the radio because that is not working. So like I said, lots of electrical gremlins and then just really interior. Exterior is pretty clean. I'm um, obviously, you can tell this thing has not been washed in quite some time. So I'm gonna drive it over to the car wash today and I will wash it because my hose keeps kinking on me and it's being a pain. So I'm gonna wash all that and then it'll be pretty much good to go. So, all right guys, so here's what she looks like. All the wheels installed and the headlights cleaned. Like I said, I still need to like go ahead and clear coat that one and polish it up, but it looks a lot better with all of the um, junk removed here and all of this stuff cleaned up and you go ahead and goog on all the stickers because there's still like leftover spots but definitely looks a lot better so, so i'm going to end the video here uh stay tuned because there definitely be a lot more mods going into this thing i want to clean up the interior quite a bit and a little exterior engine cleaning all that good stuff so we definitely will get this thing cleaned up and looking good like it should so stay tuned